In the beginning, it was a struggle uh, because at the time, uh, AIDS, uh, people with AIDS were looked down upon. Uh, there was a lot of fear and ostracism for the people uh, who were sick. And so it was a struggle then to get started. It was a struggle to get funding, to begin the work, to build some of the buildings. And I think AIDS is no longer in the headlines, so to speak, in the United States. So the struggle for su financial support and recognition uh, continues. World AIDS Day is so important because it keeps the epidemic on the map. People no longer think this is a death sentence. So because of that, funding is drying up because people are saying, well, people are living healthier and longer with this, so we don't really need to pour a lot of money into this epidemic anymore. And that's the furthest um, from the truth. We still need the money to educate. We still have people living with this disease that do not have the means to get their medication. Funding is still needed. Many of the people that we serve at Mazzoni Center um, don't know the face of AIDS. And even those who are infected, newly infected, and come to us don't have the understanding of what this lifelong disease will mean to them. We're, we're seeing a sense of complacency. You know, the better treatments that are available and, and the education that has happened is, has actually in many ways led to complacency about the epidemic. And that's led to a decrease in private donations, a decrease in government funding, and an increase in risky behavior. So we, we are battling complacency on so many levels in this epidemic. I think that American society is basically uh, a sex-adverse talking society, and um, we don't talk about sex, we don't talk about human behavior, we don't really talk about relationships, and um, therefore we have bullying and we have stigma, and we have the shame that many people grow up with and uh, not knowing what to do and resorting to unhealthy and unsafe behaviors. One of the biggest challenges we continue to face in fighting the AIDS epidemic is stigma. I think that stigma causes problems both in the way that we address our response medically, our response from governmental figures, and so I think that's one of the key pieces of work we have to do to end stigma against people living with HIV and AIDS so that they can get the support that they need. I would like to thank everyone that will support World AIDS Day. I, a person who's been living with this virus for 20 plus years, is very grateful for anything that's being done to help get rid of this virus or to help us live healthier and longer.